Hi guys! Hi! It's Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilt. We're gonna talk today about our pillow talk pillows. Do you feel sometimes slightly overwhelmed with all the different things that are happening? Well, guess what? I'm gonna show you how to take one pillow at a time and learn a new technique starting with something simple and then moving on to something more difficult like this beautiful pillow. So let's talk about pillows that we use a little bit of piecing in it. Some pillows that we have made are just made from strips, some from applique. These pillows that we're gonna talk about it today are made, and yes, the chest fell down on me. <laughs> yeah, um, we're gonna ignore that. Some pillows are made from blocks. So I chose three pillows today for you. And this one calls into the blue. That's a simple block pillow. What that means that I'm using a small blocks to make it. Then we have a square dance. It's a square in a square in a square block. And then we have a kaleidoscope pillow. That's a little bit more difficult. This one is made from four blocks. Four blocks, nine blocks, and this one is 36 blocks. So let's start it with the simplest one. We're gonna take a package, we're gonna open it up and uh, start playing with the pieces. Or if you would like to go ahead in the book, there are cutting directions for all of the pieces. You're gonna need shades of blues and backgrounds. I have all my pieces from the package and what I start doing it, I lay my pieces out. This is that simple block that we're gonna try to make two squares, one rectangle. We're gonna take the squares, we're gonna place them right sides together, just like this, zoom, 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 sew it, flip it open, and you know what I like to do? I like to do chain sewing when I'm sewing those squares together with the lighter squares. Look at the cute little chain sewing. We're gonna need six of them for one row of the pillows uh, for one row in one color and once I go ahead and sew it I'm gonna clip it apart place it right open seam allowance are gonna be right open or if you wanted to you can push them towards dark on the first one I like to keep them open because then the pillows is a little bit more flat so once you press it open you can go ahead start sewing this to this. How do I do this? By placing my rectangle right over, zoom, 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 sew it, flip it open, and I have a first block made. You're gonna repeat this six times for one color, and I already went ahead and did it, and I have a row of blues in lights, then medium, look at how nice this look and keep going this way pushing my seam allowances open and sewing nice rows and guess what if you know how to make a one you can make a six and there are six in a row and there are six rows that we're going to have this is my sixth row that i'm just working on it once i go ahead and finish this row all that i have to do sew those together right here beautifully press that seam open and i am ready for my pillow isn't that beautiful so one little step at a time if you are a beginner quilter this pillow is for you why because simply you get to repeat over and over that same movement and get really good in it and with every single low block you get to check how your quarter inch seam allowance is and one of the lessons that I would like to give it to you when I learned how to quilt somebody taught me trim your blocks that has changed my quilting forever when you finish a unit no matter who, how many seams how big the block is take a cute little ruler put it right over and square up your block trim it up to a perfect size because then when you're sewing your blocks together it is so pleasant and wonderful because they're really nice 
and you can then have beautiful rows when you finish your row check if the measurements of your row is exactly as it's supposed to be if it is then sew your rows together and you're good to go so this one was the easy one we just finished our simple pillow with just a basic little block another block that i wanted to introduce to you is the square in a square this one is made from nine, this pillow is made from nine blocks and this is a wonderful block to practice your quarter inch seam allowance and the simple lesson that I gave you with your beginner pillow, trim, trim, trim. This time I want to give you a little advice. When you're starting up from the center, you're adding your four triangles, you trim it. You're adding four triangles, you trim it. You add four triangle, you trim it. So this time, we're not going to wait to finish the whole block to trim. We're going to trim every single unit as we sew it. So this pillow is made from nine of those square and square blocks. Just noticed five of them have dark triangle on the outside corner and five, uh, four of them have light triangle and one of them has a little blue in it and depends how i rotate the pillow and where i put it it's my little pillow talk conversation piece i really like doing that to my designs throw something that i can have a little pillow talk about it i hope you enjoyed this one and let's move on to the more difficult one the kaleidoscope block now I have prepared another block for you, this one called Kaleidoscope, and it's one of my personal favorite blocks. We have a beautiful quilt, Alaska, that has this block as well, and I just uh, wanted to show you how I make those blocks. So let's take some time and let's do them. You're gonna start by taking, and the Alaska is this one right here, let me get that pillow that landed uh, on the floor for a moment. This is this beautiful quilt uh, block. And what we're going to do is the pillow is made from four of those blocks. All of the blocks are the same. They just rotate to make the whole pillow. So let me show you how I make one. You can use templates to cut your pieces or again you can go ahead and buy a kit. The kit has all of the pieces already pre-cut for you. And our kits are laser cut so th what that means the edges are being burned so they're not gonna fray as much as you're working through it. But if you have your own beautiful fabrics I want you to go ahead grab the acrylic templates that we have prepared for you and with those templates you're gonna make just beautiful blocks just like you would have been buying the kit so nothing wrong with just cutting your own and also the templates have little holes notice right here and with those holes you're going to be able to mark the spots where you need to sew i'm gonna start by taking my diamond diamond a and sewing a half a diamond b to it how do i do this i just place it right sides together and notice this line right here this point needs to match if you don't know where the matching points are take your template put it over mark mark the point on the uh, triangle then with the diamond mark the points on the diamond and now you can put a pin here and here and start sewing from this beginning straight down once you position one you're gonna know exactly where the pieces need to go and you just mimic this over and over and your blocks are gonna come out wonderful so what i did is start sewing i'm gonna push the seams open so take your fingers just like this and you can press those seams open and what i like to do we have a cute little tool and with that tool i press it this tool is really nice because it works just like finger pressing and i don't have to use the iron why don't i want to use an iron at this moment there's a lot of bias edges here so when you touch it with the iron sometimes the bias edges stretch too much and then things are not matching out all right so this tool is gonna stay nice and close to me then i'm gonna take another beautiful um half a 
diamond match it up see this line right here see where it matches it up zoom 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 sew it open i have one done sew it and now i'm gonna open all right oh this is gonna be great let's take the seam and gently press it and i noticed when i did this it was a little bit too hard so i flipped my ruler this uh, my tool this way and it was just perfect just perfect so this cutting board is a little bit more slippery than the one that i have it at home so that's why it was sliding look at how nice this look you're gonna make all of those uh uh uh, diamonds with orange pieces then a second set is gonna be a diamonds with dark blue pieces so the left so the right okay we just did it i have one already finished so we're gonna make those now we're going to go ahead and s take this piece place a triangle over notice the triangle i'm gonna put it right over match match and those are gonna be our corners so let me pull up some more of those pieces and start laying out a block for you so i have this this let's bring this here what do i follow i'm following the layout on the back of the pattern for our uh, um, a package or open the book layouts and step by step are all included in this case again we're gonna open this seam beautiful we're gonna take this one it goes right here and we have the other light yellow again place it right side together sew it let's open it up mm, this is gonna be a beautiful block and those seams by being open are laying so nice and flat okay i have this done i'm missing this piece this is gonna go here and those are all the units that i need for one block notice it and the pillow is made out of four blocks like this so two orange two blue two yellow two purple all right let's see what's next we need to now take this piece and sew it to this i place it right over match it up match the beginning start sewing straight down open it up again what am i gonna do with this seam yes you're right i'm gonna open it up i'm doing it with my fingers nice and gently if you want it you can put the iron over i'm a little bit afraid because i don't want to stretch any of those edges so what i'm doing is just gently finger press with my cute little tool i'm gonna sew those then i'm gonna go ahead and sew the purple into the corner and i am start creating a beautiful block that will fit perfectly into my pillows so now i have just made sets of twos i'm gonna take those place them right up oh, this one's supposed to actually flip this need to put this where it's supposed to be you're gonna be yelling at me later if this is not right so what i'm gonna do is i just remember that my purples i glanced it right here purple 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 orange blue so keep checking with your layout i'm gonna take those place it right sides together sew it flip it open take this one sew it flip it open and now i have two halves look at this two beautiful halves okay here right there so again i'm checking where my orange is where my purple i'm making my first block this block once you have the halves all that you need to do place it right over notice the seam is open i'm gonna put a pin right here here and here i'm gonna start sewing from here straight out flip it over 
finish sewing from here straight out and I have my first block put together. If I can make a one, I can make four and out of four of them, I can make a beautiful pillow. And let's take a look at the pillow again. So this is our first block right here. And notice I just take this block and rotate four times. And as soon as I'm finished making all fours, I can sew them together to sets of two, then the sets of two, sew them together to sets of four, all of the seams I would press it open especially for the pillow because I want the pillow to be nice and flat sometimes if you pressing seams and if it's okay if you're making a quilt and you're planning to uh, quilt in a ditch pushing the seams one direction works just as well and the benefit of pushing the seams one way is that the seams will lock for you so you have to make your personal choice what works the best for you and how you're planning to use the quilt and how you're going to quilt it so if you want to push seam one way towards the dark and then you will lock the seams or press them open like I did for this block because it was a pillow I want it nice and flat so when I lay down on the couch and rest it's gonna feel wonderful I hope you enjoy a simple piecing and remember start up with a simple block and then you can grow your skills and do a little bit more difficult blocks but always remember if you can make a one you can make a dozen so repeating 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 make your skills just amazing and i'm so proud of you i'm so glad you stopped by to learn how to have a little pillow talk with me and i hope you subscribe to Fat Quarter Shop YouTube channel and make sure you visit our YouTube channel as well. We love to see you and quilt with you. Happy quilting!